<laughs> what the fuck, bro? You look so stupid on the map. Let me see this shit. Yep. Even dumber than I thought. Hey, hey, come here, come here. I solve practical problems. Sorry, Kirigiri. I love you. But for the sake of progress, you must go. Alright. Lovely. Ah, right. Don't Starve Together is a co-op survival game that I quite like, blah blah blah, whatever. The details aren't important here. What matters is that I quite like TF2's engineer, and while browsing Don't Starve Together's Steam Workshop, I found a mod that adds him as a playable character. And so I thought, I I'm gonna play him. I'm gonna play the engineer in Don't Starve Together. I'm gonna build the dispenser. And I'm gonna build the sentry. And I'm gonna build the teleporter. It's gonna be great. At the beginning, things weren't very exciting. Things like me questioning the cacophony of my friend's character's voice. Why do you sound like that? Or huddling around a campfire way too small for the lot of us. So move away from the fire so I can quickly- You can rotate the camera, I was raging too. Yeah, I know, I have been, and it's all <laughs> angles are covered. <laughs> That's that five-man run. You know, it, it really started off looking like this would be nothing more than a goofy little survival game run with the boys. And boy, that couldn't be further from the reality that I found myself mired in just a couple days later. There were dark and stormy waters of misery and suffering just beyond the horizon of us fooling around in the early game. So sit down and buckle up. We're both gonna die in this godforsaken place. No, 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 it's not gonna happen at all. Well... Dude, you... <laughs> you suck. Like, you're worse than a liability. You're, like, an obstacle. And I'm not talking about, like, the game. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> What's that fuck me for? Okay. Uh, he's, not, he's not even visible. Oh. Move, 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 move. Hey, it won't let me. Oh. Oh, what the f... No, oh, he took it away. <laughs> There we go. Hey, who's who's was it? Who was following it? Minso. Alright, Minso, here you go. I'm Here's your mandrake. mandrake. I can't fuel the fire because then it brings my sanity down because that's my people. So you Did guys go. Or I die. Mandrake. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, he's asleep, bro. <laughs> he's off that turkey set. My character's loud ass <laughs> voice woke him up. Look at this guy. I... He's slumped. He <laughs> <laughs> He left. I just cooked is... it. You're cooked. You're Wait, you didn't even cooked. eat it yet. No, I didn't even eat it yet. Because he screamed when you cooked it. <laughs> You're so cooked, bro. So you are fun. so cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mitsu, come, come here. Yo, Mitsu, come here. This is stand still. <laughs> yeah. He's fucking, you're he's fucking zoinked. Bro. Why does your face look like that? This guy looks like he got KO'd by that fucking mandrake. Send him Jacob, my way, send him my way. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, Jacob, run, Jacob, you're gonna. Just keep running, just keep running. Keep running, don't stop, don't yeah, stop. Yeah, he's on me, he's on me, it's fine. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, Jacob, you're so scary. Come on, run, 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 Jacob, Jacob, run, run, run. We just Steve jumping him. Run. Yeah, is run. that possible to hell? force feed someone? So much harm. <laughs> yes, All right, but it here. doesn't let you troll. So. Hey, Mira, come here. Does it actually let you? Oh, nice try. No, 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 if you want to feed, it'll save feed. Right click to feed. Oh, okay, I'll do that yeah, next time. Yeah, it doesn't let you, oh no, God, it doesn't let you do it with monster cool. meat. Because <laughs> oh, people yes, like you. So <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they know my techniques. Oh my God, I could only make one because I, I rotted an odd number. <laughs> if you want, do you want me to rot my coil elephant trunk? It's almost there, bro. I, I was going to cook it and eat it, but... <laughs> Wait, did you... Dude, this compost wrap healed for nothing. I have a skirt on. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> Thanks for telling me that. That's not... Rabbits are made of hair now, bro. <laughs> bro. Oh, this is good. No, Adin, if they're made of hair and you kill them, they can drop nightmare fuel for your... 
Shout Dude, out to the just pick some flowers. Yeah, so I figure this is going to need at least a little bit of explanation before moving forward. Don't Starve Together is a survival game, and so as you might expect, it has several survival game mechanics. You got most of the classics, so you know, stuff like health, hunger, temperature, with most of them working pretty much exactly as you would expect. However, the way sanity was implemented is a little bit more complex. For starters, you have a sanity meter with a multitude of factors weighing into it either increasing or decreasing. Example, dusk and dark are pretty spooky, and so your sanity decreases over time during the evening and night. Or, flowers are pretty pretty, and so picking them increases your sanity by a flat amount. However, in general, the things that decrease your sanity, so bad weather, certain times of day, and so on, are constant, recurring factors, while the things that increase your sanity, so eating good food or picking flowers, require constant player input. The most reliable method of restoring your sanity is sleeping, which effectively converts your hunger into sanity. This creates the core survival loop of Don't Starve where you constantly need to sleep to restore your sanity, which means you constantly need to gather food so you game title. Now, if your sanity gets too low, then the world begins to warp around you in various generally negative ways. Example, a good early game supply of food are these rabbits. You can catch them using traps, murder them, and boom, meat. However, if your sanity gets too low, then they turn into these things and start dropping monster meat rather than morsels, a food item that is considerably less nutritious. There are also several aesthetic changes, such as tremors appearing at the edges of your screen, or the classic, insane hallucinations that begin to phase in and out of reality. And this is the big one, mind you. If your sanity gets low enough, these insane hallucinations begin to physically manifest as terrifying monsters that will relentlessly hunt you down. They deal a ridiculous amount of damage, respawn infinitely when killed, and if you run too far away from them, a new one will spawn in your immediate vicinity to take its place. So, <laughs> you better keep that sanity meter up. Now. You see all these people from the previous set of clips, bright-eyed and jolly as can be? Only one of them would make it to see our second play session. Though not because they died and couldn't be revived or anything like that, mind you. Reviving people was actually an extremely easy process, as I would soon force Amir to find out. Most of them just quit. For starters, this guy, he, um... Yeah, he just sort of wandered off into the woods on his own one time, we didn't hear him for like an hour, and a couple days later we found his corpse in the middle of the woods. He never hopped on again. Nothing actually happened to Minsu, he just got off after a couple hours and never came back. As for Dean, however, um... Yeah, while well, I was burning down a bunch of the trees he planted so I could get charcoal for the rice cooker, he got upset because I started burning down a bunch of the trees he planted, he got a little too close, and burned to death. He said he'd be right back, he never hopped on again. Yeah, dude, he just stood next to the fire until he freaking died, and then all his stuff started burning. You think they're gonna let you in Valhalla for that, bro? Come on. <laughs> Now, looking at all the building recipes, it seemed like the easiest one to craft would be the sentry. Or, well, that's the only assumption I could have made since the other two buildings required items that I either had no idea how to farm or had literally never seen before. And so, me and Amir decided we'd head to some of the farthest reaches of the continent in search of gears. Oh, and also, during my travels, I found the Eye Bone, an item which summons Chester, a living chest that follows you around so long as you carry it. Now, the extra storage space is pretty great, but what isn't is the incessant bouncing noise he makes. However, I very quickly grew a Stockholm Syndrome-esque attachment to it, and began to imitate it, much to Amir's dismay. Just keep exploring anything that's just not exploring. Yeah, the problem is if you, you got, went in like every direction that you can go in, you know? Yeah, but you can make a raft. Let's, let's do that together. Yeah. No. 
Do you have like a, how do I explain it? Like, do you have like a problem, but like in your skull? But not skull? Like, um... No, no, no. We gotta go this way. So why is the the boat just passively sinking? It's fucking made of grass. <laughs> and twigs. No, I also I also gotta I ask to how how is something that has just like clearly full of holes? How exactly is this thing staying afloat? I don't know, man. I ain't asking questions. <laughs> You go down. Hey, I'm your marble thing. Wait, what? Really? Oh, shit. Please tell me, man. Nope. Isn't this like a crazy boss? Yeah, I think when it's like full moon, it just springs to life. Yeah, you see all these marble structures that we just sort of brushed off and walked past? Take a little mental note of that, because it'll come up again later. <laughs> So, I mean, you're glad that, like, we found Chester, right? <laughs> like, he annoyed me when I had him, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, like, not get him next time. And I didn't, and I'm still suffering. So, how yeah. accurate would you say my Chester noises are? It's really accurate. I don't think I need any more, you know, <laughs> demonstration. It's, like, spot on. <laughs> oh, no gears, man. No gears, and this guy won't stop. Dude, I dropped you a bunch of greens. I wish I could have one, but it's okay. Yeah, you wanna know why it's okay? Why? Look. <laughs> oh, by the way, between this clip and the next, we actually found an area with the clockwork enemies that drop gears, but there was literally one clockwork knight there, and so I didn't even bother clipping it, because I thought, well, clockwork knights drop two gears each, and I need three for a sentry. So I'll just save the clip after I find the next set of clockwork enemies and get all the gears I need. Where's Chester? Did we leave him behind? No. Oh. Did he get off? Okay, no, he's just chilling. Wake up. Oh shit. <laughs> he's on fire! Oh, Chester, I'm sorry. <laughs> he fucking had it coming, man. <laughs> hey, Mir, did you leave my ore on the- Sorry, did you leave your ore on the ground? Mir, you dropped this. Here you go. Hey, Mir, I think you left something on the ground. <laughs> so, we were unsuccessful in getting enough gears to build my sentry in our first expedition. But although we were discouraged, we had neither given up nor given in. And so we decided to head out once more. All right, let's go. Oh, perfect. I wanted to stop by the Pig King. So we're gonna go up and then right okay. and then up. Sure thing, pal. Fantastico. Hey, Mary, you hear it? Yeah, I do. No need for a, a repetition of it. Okay, good. Just making sure. Yes. What the hell is that? <laughs> Why does it have 28,000 health? <laughs> I think that's uh, one of the bosses. <laughs> that, that would be my guess. Wow, it's winter. Ain't that cool. Get it? Hello? Yeah. Okay, good. Just making sure you understood. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I got it. Oh, there's a bunch of fire hounds. Hey, if I kill them, then what is that? A fire staff? Yeah, you see this item, the fire staff? It works very similarly to the flint and steel in Minecraft in that you can use it to right-click on things to set them on fire. This... This is Chekhov's gun, okay? 
And if I fight them, then they'll explode into fire. And then it'll be like, wow, I'm not freezing anymore. You know what I'm saying? Wait, I got... Hold on, I think I can actually... Okay. I got some goodies, Amir. But yeah, that's about it for the gear hunting. Winter had arrived, making it much more resource intensive to go exploring, and so it was time to head home and hunker down. Thus, with several hours of our rather limited lives having been wasted away, we found a grand total of one Clockwork Knight who dropped a grand total of two gears. One short of what I needed to make a sentry. Plus, a mere selfish bastard he is, went all, no, you can't hoard both gears. We need to use one to make an ice box so all our food doesn't turn into Gwyneth Paltrow's goop. And so he only gave me one. The only unexpected W was I made quite a bit of progress towards the dispenser with the red gems I got from these firehounds, but even then I only got two out of the three that I needed. Now. I mean, you wonder who makes that noise? The mole. Yeah, you got it. What do you think of my SFX game? Pretty good. It's just a bit oversaturated. Is there a better bed I can make? You can make a tent that's reusable, but not infinitely. How many How many usables? I don't know. Maybe six. Can we sleep in the tent together? No. One at a time. Alright, you go on ahead, I'll chase your demons away. Yep. Oh, am I just I was so insane? Oh yeah, I'm too too insane. The, they're coming. The demons. Oh, here, I got you. <laughs> the demons are here, coming after me. me. Here. All right. Bedtime. Hey, Mir, they stole from the fire. Yeah, I need to get like a trumpet just so I can make that noise. <laughs> Should I make a cookbook? Stop using the, the, the thing, bro. It's cheating, bro. What are you talking about? You're cheating. What are you talking about? The, the recipe book. Huh? Crockpot recipe file you have. What are you talking about? <sighs> you fucking guessed. <laughs> Can I have some kebab? I ate it from the fridge. So, so what does drying rack do? So it's gonna turn any meat into jerky of its corresponding type. So big meat will make you like normal big jerky. Morsels make small, frog legs make small, turkey legs make small. Okay, monster meat okay, makes what, monster okay, jerky. But like, no, but like what does it, like what's the deal? Jerky will give you more food than the original cooked meat. It will heal you a shit ton and it will give you a lot of sanity. And it lasts fucking almost forever. Not really, but... And the only cost is that it just costs time. It just has to be on the rack for a while. Now what I want to know, right? Uh-huh. So, if the whole thing is like you just leaving it on a rack, why doesn't it just spoil? Like, what's the deal? Yeah, I don't get it. But, you know, it's like waving in the air. It's different, bro. It's different. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Damn, this tall bird doesn't sleep. Yeah. No rest for the for the tall birds, as the, as the saying yeah. goes. <laughs> Cause there ain't no rest for the tall birds. Yeah, so... With all the, I'm just gonna sit around the fire and try not to freeze to death stuff going on, I was getting pretty bored. And so I decided to make my own fun. And unfortunately for Amir, it was at his expense. You want a lantern? Uh, what does it do? Just a better torch. You can even put it on the floor and keep it on. Sure. I'll trade you two torches at varying durabilities. Please in don't turn. give me your fucking trash. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. You're welcome. You want five wood. Thanks. You're welcome. Here, guys, have some tentacle spikes. They're very good. Very broken weapon. And here's 14 gold. Oh, 
Alright, it's time to go on an adventure. Today I'm gonna go see if I can find more uh, stuff. You know? No, but thanks for always giving me your fucking garbage items. <laughs> I really appreciate it and I hope that it continues. Oh, really? I thought you were getting tired of it, but now that you've no, said that, no, I'll no. make sure to keep going forever. Don't you ever stop. <laughs> <laughs> now that's what I call positive reinforcement. <laughs> Fuck this guy. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> Eventually though, I did muster up the courage to go out on another expedition. You know, in spite of the eternally frigid weather, exceedingly long nights, and near complete absence of forageable food sources, and... Here's how that went. Oh, the spiders don't end. Oh my goodness, and the trees are gonna start burning. And I can't do anything about it because there's too many spiders. Well, on the bright side, I'm not gonna freeze to death with all this fire. Yeah, you see this web-like texture covering the ground here? Well, you might not have, what, with all the snow and such covering it, but, um... Fun fact, your movement is slowed considerably while you walk on it. On the downside, um, I died. Well, there's this growling I'm hearing. Is that deer clops? It is deer clops. Ethan, can you go to a touchstone fast? Oh, he's already here. Great. Good timing, deer clops. He's breaking all of our chests. Yeah. Literally as soon as I died, one of the game's major bosses, the deer clops, pulled up to our base. Now, of the two methods of resurrection that were available to me at this point, one was to have Amir use a telltale heart on me. But considering he was a little... preoccupied, I went with the other option, traveling to a touchstone. But that, um... That came with its own issues. Yeah, like, I don't... I don't know what I'm looking for. Like, a, it looks like a stone slab. Uh... Like some kind of pedestal. See, touchstones are one-time use respawn points dispersed randomly and infrequently across the map. And the icon denoting one that you've already found isn't exactly the easiest to spot, and so... You know what? Why don't you try spotting the touchstone? Here's what the icon looks like. See if you can find it. Insanity is now at zero. Great, now I'm 1v2ing Deer Clops and my hallucination. Alright, Deer Clops is dead. Thanks for the help, noob. Uh -huh. We really got timing though, what the fuck? What'd you die to? Uh, like 20 spiders. Oh, that's where it is. Okay, it's like t a 10 minute walk north. Okay. <laughs> Unassumingly, I walked all the way up and I used the touchstone, but I had neglected one blatantly apparent issue. It was still winter, and so I immediately started freezing to death. <laughs> and I, I am, go on, come I on, am come. going to die in uh, 35 seconds. I'm on my way. And the bees you. are coming after me. Oh, actually, no, I'm, not, I'm gonna die in 10 seconds because it was two health per second. Check my thermal stun light. I literally don't have enough grass for fire. Yeah, I'm dead. Hey, Mir. Here. Dude, this game is so bad. I'm just stuck in the animation of giving you things. Alright, come to base. <laughs> Here. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, don't this... mind the base. Hey, look at his eyeball, though. We got him, boys. Yeah, let me keep that on me. So a guy like you, you know. I just love looking at my inventory and just finding your things. Yeah. Two cut reeds, one tentacle spots, 27% durability torch. Wow. Thanks.
At this point, the painful lack of progress in building my buildings, combined with several discouraging deaths, had left me sad, miserable, and unmotivated to continue playing. And Amir, having done all the heavy lifting due to my severe incompetence, was feeling quite similar. But like, neither of us were gonna quit. Or rather, neither of us were going to quit first. And this mentality would lead to this run devolving into something of a game of chicken. Yeah. I'm not happy at all, like I'm not smiling. You don't have to play that game. I don't. That's what I'm telling him, but he's like, no, no. But I want to build the sentry. <laughs> <laughs> don't you get it? Just get him his sentry already, man. Like, there's no gears. Like, I've, we've explored this entire freaking continent. There's There was one gear, one gear thing to be had. We should turn these into lanterns soon, they're rotting. Yeah, <laughs> the light bulbs are rotting. Hey, I got you a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Don't know if you want it. Yeah, this oh, game yeah. sucks. This game is miserable. Look at this stuff. Why is this game the way it is? Why is it miserable? I just want to build my sentry. I'm at 15 health, my brain is rotting. But I got some rabbit earmuffs. My brain wasn't just rotting in-game, by the way. The continuous state of misery this run had entangled me in was beginning to seriously affect my ability to make intelligent, rational, coherent decisions. Something that'll come into play... soon enough. Oh, here, Mirror, look, it's the guy from the God Hand on the right. Oh, there he goes. I can't see your hallucinations, you fucking schizophrenic freak. Fuck you. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> you rat bastard. You owe me 40 health, a spider gland, and three grass. That's what it costs to res you. Alright, here you go. You're worse than a liability. <laughs> You're like an obstacle. <laughs> and I'm not talking about like the game. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you got a breath, he loves that one so much. It's, it's just true, it's not a a bit that you just gotta, like, like. He can't handle it. It's genuinely a problem. <laughs> making a steering wheel for the boat, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be so cool. Oh, the boat's gonna be the coolest thing ever. Was that a gun, bro? <laughs> What's that? No, bro, it's the think tank. <laughs> oh, wow. That's Do you so not cool. hear the annoying squeaking? <laughs> NGL, I'm hunting right now. NGL. <sighs> NGL, I'm so, like, just done with this game. You can get off, bro. No. I will win. <laughs> you won. <laughs> you lost, bro. Yeah, I mean, you all lost, but... Sorry, I'm trying to lose the, the least, is what I'm saying. I will be the winner. Oh my god, look at all the spider bodies. My fucking helmet broke. Oh, here comes another run, one. Run, run, run! He's on me now, don't worry. Oh, I don't have a helmet. We're both gonna die in this godforsaken place. No, 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 it's not gonna happen at all. <laughs> Why did you run into the spider nest? Alright, don't worry, Ethan, we're gonna get you up and running in no time. Wow. Thank, thank the heavens for that. I can get back to playing. <laughs> Dude, you you suck. Like, you died a lot. Like, you're so bad, and... Alright, I'm heading back to you. To your crime scene. 
Dude, that was the most useless touchstone ever. Like, I walked for freaking five minutes, used up the touchstone, died. and then just died. Just froze to death right in front of you. That was genuinely, like, traumatizing. <laughs> right in front. Oh, wait, I could have saved everyone if I just played my pan flute. I forgot I had one. Oh, and by the way, one of the primary methods you have to protect yourself against inclement weather is this item, the thermal stone. If you were to, for example, place it next to a fire, then it would begin to absorb the heat from it, and you can carry it around to stay warm. Now, as a ghost, you can haunt items to push them around, and so... <laughs> I cause problems. <laughs> Practical problems. Uh, hey, Amir, solve this problem. What happens if you haunt my fire? Oh! You're free? Yeah, I solve problems, Amir. <laughs> Don't you forget it. <laughs> I I love having you know you around. Hey Ethan, can I rage quit? That if you're willing to lose, then yeah. This is your gear, Ethan. Look. Yeah. <laughs> what exactly am I supposed to do with that? So the opulent pickaxe, you're gonna use that to break every single rock that has gold in it, or just any rock, but preferably the gold ones. And the meaty stew <laughs> is uh, is fruit. Uh huh. Yeah, the gold, any, any gold tool lasts really long, for some reason. That's not, that's the opposite of Minecraft. Yeah. Now, you may have noticed that I have been unequivocally carried by Amir throughout this entire run so far. But that isn't just because he's better than me at the game. It's also because his character is absolutely broken. For one, she just passively deals 25% more and takes 25% less damage in combat. And she also has several very powerful exclusive items, such as the Battle Helm, an item which reduces incoming damage by 80% and has nearly double the durability of the generally available alternative. However, this helmet, along with her equally busted exclusive spear, requires gold to craft. And so Amir telling me to go, go get some gold for me, please, was essentially him trying to nudge me in the direction of doing something at least slightly useful. And I mean, yeah. He'd recently hatched the idea of building a boat so I could cross the ocean to find a new continent to get gears, and he'd also been building all the parts for it himself, so I... I guess it's the least I could do. As for how this little mining expedition went... So Amir, it hasn't stopped raining, and I'm probably gonna be insane by morn. You gotta shut up, you have to. I don't believe that you can't. What's up? You better shut up by morn. <laughs> Three hunger. Two hunger. Okay, let's cook some berries. Okay, it's got my health almost halfway back to the double digits. And you know what, having the crawling horror coming after me is actually optimal because it's super slow so I can actually do other stuff instead, you know? If it was like the freaky one, you know what I'm talking about? That would be like a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's fucked. Oh, the freaky one is coming after me. Amir, can you can you guide me to where the direction is going to right. go? I can't. Yeah, okay. Don't worry. I'll bring my 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 demons <sighs> straight to you. And can you scare this guy into me while you're at it? Hi. Thank you. Oh, they're both coming after me now. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna meet at base. Yeah. And I'm gonna get the aggro off of you. 
Yeah. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna just eat some jerky, like two big jerkies should do it. And that'll give you enough sanity to despawn them. Yeah, I'll get the aggro. Alright, go, go, go. Eat jerky. Uh, they're both arguing. <laughs> the other one's out arguing on me. Okay, here, I'll get this one too. Don't worry. There, go eat, go eat. Uh, that one's... Oh, no, <laughs> no, I, I, I disagree. Okay. Wait, that's a health profit. I'm not gonna starve anymore. So yeah, here's that gold you wanted. <laughs> I hope it was worth it. <laughs> it was. Now I can have a helmet again. Alright here, Ethan, try this. See if this fixes your max health. It's actually called a booster shot. Yeah, it actually did it. I got microchipped up, bro. Let's go. <laughs> I got the nano machines flowing through my veins. Hey Amir, what's what's this lure plant that just appeared? I think it's bad news. Hey, uh, just wanted to let you know that lure plant was indeed bad news. Oh, actually, I'm not done talking. So yeah, winter had ended quite some time ago. Me and Amir were both stocked up on supplies and all the boat parts had been completed. Thus, we decided it was time to go on a little oceanic odyssey. Dude, exactly. I've never played Don't Starve to this point. Look at this shit. We're sailing. Ah! What's, what's going on, man? <laughs> yeah, you mind if I go for a nap? Yeah, have fun. Hey, Amir, knock yourself out. Oh, I get it. You have everything covered? You sure? Uh, I don't know. We'll figure right. it out. Okay, good night. As soon as you go to bed, I immediately will just run into- What is that? <laughs> just ignore it, bro. We, we go till we hit land. Okay. Oh, another message in a bottle. Ah, forget it. Fuck this gosh darn game. I just want my gears, bro. I don't care about all these dis <laughs> carrots that are dangling in front of me. I <laughs> just want to build my buildings, man. <laughs> why is it- Why does the water look like that? Is this uh, the edge of the world? Oh my god, it's a- it's flat earth. It's, we're on the flat- we're right on the flat earth! He found the edge! <laughs> I knew the world was flat. I, I knew it was flat, I knew it! <laughs> oh, what oh, with his hands! Uh, I think it's just us being insane, don't worry about it. Yeah, you hear that screaming? Oh, there it is again. Ethan, I don't think we should go back. <laughs> what makes you say that? Uh, well, there's no other continents, it seems. That, plus we're running out of food. I'm about to go insane, <laughs> it's raining, and I'm starving? Is that why you're saying that? Pretty much. Don't worry, we might reach the, the, the where the government says the Antarctic Poles are soon. <laughs> oh, there it is. Like, it actually just falls off, bro. And then if, if you climb down there, you'll find the turtle on the back of the world on the back of <laughs> <laughs> Why do you just make this brilliant orchestral sound whenever you get hit? Oh, thank you for the fight, Seath, and I'm max sanity now from killing them. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and I'm not out of my mind anymore. I'm just most of the way there. I'm dead! <laughs> oh, that scared the shit out of me. I'm dead! Oh, fuck. Hey, don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you home. <laughs> hey, Amir, where does this wormhole go? Uh, this one will take you to... Not good. Okay. 
having failed miserably, we return to our base, sad and depressed. But that wouldn't be the end of our little ocean escapade. Not because we'd be heading back out onto the water, however. It's just that our little trip had severely depleted our mental and physical resources, and this would serve to severely screw us over. Okay, well, I'm insane and two of the freaks are chasing me. Um... Well, this time... <laughs> You're on your own. Well, yes, I guess. I'm just gonna have to kite them around infinitely. Maybe I'll- well, maybe I what can- What is the solution to that death? Uh, waiting for you to show up. You see this little ghost icon on my sanity meter? Yeah. With his broken-ass character, Amir had died in combat for the first time in this entire run. Oh, and I should also mention that so long as there's a player ghost on the map, your sanity will constantly be drained, so uh, these freaks were here to stay. <laughs> now it's night too. You can do it. Now how hurry up and find that touchstone, bro. Oh I found it. What the fuck? Are you gonna wait for daytime? Uh well I'm about to die to darkness because my torch just ran out. And I can't build another one, so <laughs> Alright. Okay, hold on, the fireflies are coming in clutch. Fireflies? Yeah. You're couch surfing right now? Oh yeah, no, there, <laughs> there I go. Alright, I got it. Now I have to couch surf. Okay, well I am just as low on sanity and the only way back... Oh, the grass raft exists. Yeah, it's. I just left it there, you can hop across, it's like a bridge. The wormhole would be way better though, because I'd be at my items faster. But I don't have the sanity for that. Alright, let's get you up and running. Oh, shadow creatures. Are they looking for you? Ah, my lingering insanity remains. Alright, my friend. We will meet again right now. I am a wet warrior. Here you go. Oh, back onto the depths of hell. <laughs> You're not leaving yet, buddy. Hey, uh, remember that lure plant I saw pop up in our base earlier? This oh, is what it looks oh. like now. Oh, come on. Ethan, they're still here. They're still angry. What? Okay. Why are you fighting eye plants? <laughs> Where were they? How'd you get near in them? The base. The ones in the base. In between the rows of my berry bushes. Next to all the trees, <laughs> those ones. I, 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 I didn't see him. Oh, you'll see him when you get back. Ethan, you, 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 you're trash. I mean, all you had was two super fast demons that wouldn't let you go while you're starving at night. You couldn't figure, you couldn't figure out that you can kite the eyeballs. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't wasn't much holding you back. What this guy doesn't give a shit. Can you uh, sleep? Do you need food? What do you need? No, I, I need help. Yeah, you do. I'm trying my best. Hey, Amir, my max health is uh, 20... what, 30? 125. Yeah, oh, your max. 32. Oh, okay, let's work on that booster shot for you. Is there like... can we make like a grenade? Like, is that a thing we can do? Maybe we can use this fire stuff. Uh, I think that's gonna burn all of our stuff along with them, and also probably, probably all the trees and all There's the fire your bushes. Shot. Yeah, that's the fourth shot they keep telling you to take. I know, man, it's crazy. Now, those of you who've been paying attention to the season clock may have noticed that we're most of the way through a full loop. Only one season remained, and let me tell you, they really saved the worst for last. So, low on supplies, morale, and just having barely begun to recover from almost losing our entire run, we were about to be thrown headfirst into what is by far the most insufferable season. Summer. A summer's coming in like a lion, so to speak. Oh, you're, you're, that was a good one. Yeah. Hey, did Summer make the place orange, or am I insane? Why am I so insane? Is this just my lot in life? You know, I'm gonna keep the, these two 
crawling horrors on me on my screen so they don't despawn because that way the free the freaks won't come out to play you Smart. know oh my God. Ethan, we i'm surprised we didn't do this earlier we couldn't do it in the winter but we should do it now we need to get uh beehives we need to set up our bee houses because because honey makes with honey we can make candy and candy is sanity food that's great and that's what we need. Yeah, I love being sane. Hey, Amir, those are my friends. <laughs> oh, hey, ten. No 10? <laughs> no. I'm trying, no to, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to work on that right now, but my, my pets are, are they're a bit needy, you know? Hey, why, don't, why don't you leave it to me? Oh, there's a third one! Oh. Oh, they work together. Wait, I'm- I'm a corpse dude. No, that's not good. <laughs> My sanity will start going down if you do that. Every time you go insane, it's so good for me. Yeah. I, I gain all my sanity back. That's great. I'm glad to be of so much use to you. I'm probably the most helpful man on the planet. It's like being the most interesting man on the planet, but for being <laughs> helpful. Dude, with all this nightmare fuel, we really just should just start using magic. Oh, oh here comes one of the freaks! Oh, it's going straight for you! What do I do? What does that fuck me for? Okay. Uh, he's, not, <laughs> he's not even visible. <laughs> I mean, you can make that endothermic fire now if you sift through my stuff. See, one of the things that makes summer so bad is that, much like winter, the weather is extreme to the point of leaf. Thality. Bro, Amir, what is wrong with this freaking planet? Why is it 70 Celsius out it just out there? Thus, you constantly need to keep your temperature under control if you don't want to die. However, what makes it much more annoying than winter is you need to use this special type of fire called an endothermic fire, which absorbs heat from its surroundings rather than releasing it. Ain't that cool? That is, that is pretty sick. Hey, hey Mirror, 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 ain't that cool? Hey, Mirror, hey, Mirror, hey, Mirror. Ain't that cool? Yeah, it is. Can we work on uh, the honey farm? Yeah, it's only like 65 degrees out here. Oh, freaking burning. I'm actually dying. I'm gonna die to freaking heat. Oh. Well, we gotta be stacked up on nitre, huh? Just to make, like, uh, spontaneous, you know, endothermic fires? Yeah. That's fine. Am I just gonna- am I just dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Oh my god. Ethan, you went out exactly how Adin did. I didn't even- Come here. That's great. I'm glad to hear that. That makes me feel so good. <laughs> I'm coming to you, man. I'm coming. You will be saved. Maybe I don't want to be. Oh, the suffering. Doesn't end. Hell yeah. Well, here we go. I wish this would kill me. Nice try. You're not escaping this world. Not before me. <laughs> Eat those bacon and eggs and shut your mouth. <laughs> I'm going to bed. It's just so deserved. Yeah? <laughs> yes. This is what you get for that chestering. All that chestering about... <laughs> Maybe there's some kind of magic that can save us. Yeah. If you press Alt and F4 at the same time, I think it casts a spell. <laughs> okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. I need to cut in before I let this clip keep playing. In case you couldn't tell from the last couple minutes of clips, I was like... So brain dead at this point, okay? Within the previous two hours of game time alone, I'd gone on this grand voyage across the ocean, bright-eyed and hopeful that soon I'd be able to build my sentry, only for it to end in complete failure and almost lose us the entire run.
Not to mention how I'd met a rather unfortunate end in a myriad of miserable ways in the last 30 minutes. And summer wasn't even halfway over yet, okay? Like, my brain was mush. It probably looked like this in real life. And so I... I hadn't even mentally registered that I'd picked up the fire staff here, and so I... <sighs> yeah, there's... There's no way I can prepare you for what's about to happen here, so just... Just play the clip. Whoa, no, why did it... Why did it... No, Amir! Amir! Uh, what? we don't... We don't have the material for this. Okay, well, there it goes. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think you saved us. Why? <laughs> Why did I have the f oh my god Why? No, I tried. No, you know what? This is my fault. Because I could have made a fire extinguisher a while back. <laughs> when did I pick up the fire staff? <laughs> Why? Why must it be this way? Me and Chester are gonna start fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Screw this guy. Oh wait, the heat is killing me. You can't escape. There's no escape. Okay. We you can't do that to me and do this voice again. You can't do that. It doesn't work like that. You gotta choose one. You can't, you can't have it both ways, man. Why am I wearing earmuffs? Oh, yeah. Why don't we just spread it to the trees, too? Oh, and the tent. Why not the tent? <laughs> you won't have my tent. It's my tent, actually. I built that. Oh, well, they can have it then. <laughs> I, love, I love how they actually made textures for everything when they're burnt. Like, they're even the rainometer. I can make this work. <laughs> 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 and I'm not hammering these things. They're all stained. Yeah, just like the corpses, bro. They're relics. They're important. <laughs> you thought you thought this saved you. You really did. We're not done here. Job is not finished. Nowhere near. We're, we're, still, we're, still we're just playing. getting started, bro. This is just another another footnote on the journey. <laughs> another footnote on the journey to the dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have some new people. This, I swear this run is a game of chicken. It's literally just a game of chicken to see who quits out first. <laughs> the bushes are burning. <laughs> no, all the bird bushes are burning too. <laughs> Oh my god. They they picked the two most deranged people to go on this run. They thought we'd quit after all the ailments. Fuck, yeah, fuck the berries, I guess. Like, come on, we couldn't even have that. <laughs> I worked so hard collecting all that. <laughs> now they're ashes, like Dean's items. Chester, can you just sit here for a moment while I cope with, you know, what just happened? I'm still in denial. <laughs> it hasn't even hit me yet. You wanna know what the best what? part is, Amir? <laughs> what? How could it get better than this? So the, the fire staff only does it if you right click on the bottom. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and so I like I was just so brain dead. Like, yeah, let's open the chest, it's right click, it's like Minecraft. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. You know what? Let's let's 
Let's fight the Eye of Cthulhu tonight. <laughs> you want to end the? You want to end this run so bad? No, 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 no. I can't. It's not. It's not in me to throw on purpose. All right, I'm gonna go find that touchstone, bro. <laughs> go south, brother, and don't come back. <laughs> I'm gonna dive over here. <laughs> oh yeah, this is literally just winter part two. Yeah. Uh. Dude, it is so hot in here. It's like four degrees outside, the heating's off. And yet here I am, absolutely caked with sweat. This outfit needs to go. The joke just isn't worth it. What even is the joke anyway? That I look like a complete idiot? I don't need to wear some neckbeard looking ass outfit for that. I, I got that as a passive. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, um, I burned like half the base down and most of the items in our chests went with it. Yay! Didn't stop us from continuing the run, though. No, we can fix this. No, I... We're oh, engineers, Ethan, bolts. we solve practical problems. Or you do, at least. Never causing them. <laughs> I've I never <laughs> caused a problem in my life. <laughs> I'm gonna go fill up my water bottle, I'll be back. Yeah, you should collect yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh great, I can't make a endothermic fire because I didn't exp I didn't discover it, and we don't have a science machine that I can use to discover it, and there are no gold rocks nearby to make a science machine. Uh, oh, I can go to the pig king and him. Yeah, Amira, dude, Amira, as soon as it gets to fall, it's like we just started the game again. Yeah, <laughs> What the fuck? Except with lower max health. Dude! Summer makes wildfires happen? I just witnessed a wildfire. This whole forest is gonna burn. That could happen to our base. I mean, it already did, we're fine. Yeah, it was crazy how that wildfire came in and just <laughs> burned everything down. It was so unlucky. Yeah, I mean, it's like you said, bro, it's kind of your fault because you said you didn't build a fire extinguisher. Literally, I should have made an ice fling o -matic. It's okay, Amir. I, 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 for, I forgive you for letting your down. I appreciate that. Down. Ethan, I'm going to be away from home for a while. You want to follow me? Hey, Amir, why, something's stomping and shaking and my ghost guy's going... <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> what is it now, man? Ethan, you're not safe, bro. Come here. Huh? Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> We're back in! Wait, I think there's probably rabbits stuck in these traps. Yes. It's okay, we're back home. I'm just gonna run straight to the fridge. Five hunger. Oh, <laughs> home sweet home. <laughs> there you go, meaty stew. Saved. <laughs> You light the fire. Yeah, so what's this? Are these like. What are Whoa. The, are these sinkholes? Oh, come on, man. We don't get a break. Yeah, so what are those? I don't know. I've never made it this far in this game, Ethan. I never played this broken ass character. Are we. Are are we this far? <laughs> like, are, I don't think we've gotten very far at all. We haven't cheated, right? So, I mean, we're, we're here. Every uh, resurrection we've had and shit, it's all part of the game. Completely. It's not even modded. Well, yeah, it's not even modded. Well, I mean, come on. I'm saying everything useful that's happened isn't modded. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait, here, have, have this too. This will keep you alive. Yeah, so another consistent problem you have to deal with in Don't Starve is these packs of hounds periodically coming after you. And so, of course, just as we had hit our lowest, the world willed it that we sink even lower and sent a gigantic pack of hounds our way. Take this helmet and put it on. Okay. Thank you. And here they come. Oh shit, they're already here. Oh, that one is gonna engulf in flame when you kill it. Run. Oh shit, there goes the drying rack. <laughs> it would have happened anyway. I don't think it matters that you burned well, anything. I got pincered. No worries, let's cook up your items. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes the quag pod. My helmet is broken. Oh, and this shit slows me. 
Wait, this might be it. Oh, I need, I don't I don't have any logs. Oh, I got jer I got jerky though. We are paycheck to paycheck. All right, check this out. My final play. Uh, oh, come on! He woke him up. All right, do it again. Damn! All right. Yeah. Now that these now that these freak bitches have stopped, I can get my helmet. Oh. Yeah, fish it out from in there. I literally could have. There was. It was so easy to just die there. I, w I literally had 10 health dying of overheating while eight hounds were on me. And I just there just happened to be fresh jerky on the floor from the broken drying racks. And keep in mind, like if you had to harvest it from the drying rack normally, that would have taken way too long. Exactly. And it was just on the floor, ready to go. Yeah, so in other words, <laughs> everything burning down even more saved you. That saved the run. It was a sacrifice that needed to be made. Yeah. Oh, I've never been more, you know, look at this. It's like we don't even see these fires anymore. Huh? What are you talking? What fire? This one on the right that's going to burn every biological thing in the area. Huh? How do you... What? See? We're so fucking funny. I can just res you here again. <laughs> Oh, oh wait, wow. I have no glands. Okay, wait, I can get one right now. Wow, you can resurrect me right now? I can't wait to get right back into the action. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh. I would never ever want to have a call. I don't want to have people. I don't want to suck people's energy. What is this race war, Ethan? Yeah, I don't know. That's what Holy shit. Happened. Well, the rabbits are gonna break out of the trap if you don't, you know. They don't. They actually don't. They just rot in there. Actually, some of them do. They right. just rot in there? Yeah, they rot until they turn into morsel, and then the morsel rots until it turns into rot. That is, like, really messed up. You know what's very messed up? The 20 berries that are about to turn into rot. Dude, our, our fridge is just, like, Mixed with like food that's very close to spoiling and rot that's like separated in different partitions. Like that's five <laughs> rot, this is 16 rot. <laughs> oh, come on. What does that even mean? It's the sinkholes. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I. Th oh boy. Amir, I think this is gonna be like a boss at the end of summer. Like, your For boss. Sure, bro. Like, either it's gonna be a giant or it's gonna burst out from the ground. Oh, you're so fucked. No, 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 we got this. Yeah, we? Here. Yeah, we got this. You and me, baby. Hey! <laughs> and into the spotlight I go. Like the when the protagonist gets revived at the start of the second season. Yeah, make sure to take note of all this talk of sinkholes and there being a precursor to an end of summer boss, because while you don't actually need to take note of either of those things since no end of summer boss ever came after us and the sinkholes were completely unrelated. Something bad certainly was coming our way, but that's for later. Oh, and also you couldn't really tell in the previous clip due to the first few seconds artifacting like this, but several new sinkholes had appeared, destroying our endothermic fire and icebox. Pretty nice. I'm burning. Wait, what happened to the icebox? It got freaking broken by the guy. Oh, well, at least the gears get preserved. Look at all the food on the floor. This is not good. Time for food. He, he just ate the monster meat. Oh, he's eating all our stuff. I can't do this right now. I'm burning. He said, we're, how are we still hanging on? Oh, the fire broke. I'm dying. Uh, I don't have that much niter, bro. Here, I can give you one. Oh, well, I just put it as fuel. <laughs> oh, what the f- Ethan! What's up? The oh. pig! Oh, uh... I think he's overheating. He's or is dying. He, or is he eating rot? No, he's just <laughs> eating the 20- He's eating the rot over and over. Good. And our stuff is burning. Ethan, bro, can we, uh, call it a... 
I, I want to go eat my pizza. So here, how about this? There you go. Enjoy the view. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. Ugh. This place has been absolutely ravaged. Like, beyond hey, belief. We're still standing. Is that a good thing, though? No, but... I am burning to death. Because it's freaking 70 Celsius if you walk like 10 meters away from this fire. So, quick recap. In search of materials to build my buildings, I went on two multi-hour expeditions, scouring every crack and crevice of our starting continent, both of which came up with basically nothing. I then departed on a voyage across the sea, in hopes of finding a new continent which may yet have the resources I needed to build my buildings. Only to get literally nothing out of it, and nearly lose the entire run because of the resource deficit it put us in. Immediately following this, we were flung headfirst into summer, which so effectively drained my sanity in real life that I ended up burning down most of the base, and a couple days later a firehound showed up with enough courtesy to finish off everything I'd missed. We were then repeatedly targeted by these sinkholes, which perfectly managed to snipe all the buildings that remained due to their immunity to fire. This run, from the beginning all the way up until now, had proven itself to be absolutely miserable. And so, what do you expect? Me and Amir both had this bipartisan agreement that this wasn't worth our time anymore. So we packed up our bags and, unsatisfying as it may be, our Don't Starve Together run came to a close. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> we, we weren't gonna quit just like that. We both wanted to win. And we were both too deranged to care that continuing really just meant everyone losing. I, for one, had committed to building my buildings, and so I was gonna do it. And this is finally the point where I decided the gloves were coming off. It was time to get serious. First things first, we needed a new endothermic fire, as there was still around a third of summer to get through. We just barely had enough resources to build it, but at the very least, we were no longer under the imminent threat of burning to death. Now, in order to rebuild the base, we need tons of materials. Lots of wood, stone, twigs, grass, and so on. But for, um, various reasons, a significant portion of the nearby natural resources had been, to put it lightly, incinerated, reduced to ashes and blackened husks. Fortunately for us, though, I've always kept a supply crate worth of crafting materials in my backpack just in case of a rainy, or rather, an insufferably arid day such as this. Only one issue. My backpack was currently sitting all the way up here in the middle of a field of rocks right next to my mildly singed corpse. However, this was solvable, as I could cool a thermal stone near the endothermic fire, and this would keep me not dead for just long enough to be able to retrieve it. And so, fast forward three days later, I got my stuff back, and the base now looks like this. The biggest difference compared to before is now everything is spaced out. We have the central living area here, the fridge with all our stuff up here, the chest with all our supplies over here, and bundles of trees spread out along the perimeter. This way, even if another disaster comes our way, whether it be natural or anthropogenic, it'll be extremely unlikely for everything to be destroyed. He said, look at this. Huh? Oh, never mind, never mind. Yeah, I'm working hard, bro. Respect. You might you think of me as <laughs> you might think of me as a lazy bum who just wastes resources, but I can I can work hard sometimes if I feel like it. We need vegetables. Yeah, unfortunately, all 16 of my berry bushes burned down. Yep. Dude, this is like my theme song. I'm going crazy right now. Dang, I worked so hard, I'm burning up. 
and it would seem that my hard work would not go unnoticed by the previously cruel overlords of this world. Because after taking half a dozen L's over the last half a dozen hours, some good fortune finally came my way. Behold. Oh, Ethan, look. What's up? All our shit was in this hole. That's how they get wait, around these funny Wait, items. did you get a gem? Yeah, a red one. Give me. Wait, you- <gasps> Hey, hey, I'm here. I'm here. Are Amir, are you, are you ready for this? <clears throat> Dispenser going up! I had finally built one of my buildings. Not the one I'd originally intended to make first, but it was some very encouraging progress regardless. And not only that, but things were looking up in general, because summer was almost over. And you know what that means. Oh my goodness, Amir, I, I'm freezing! The, the atmosphere is returning to a, a livable temperature! Amir, isn't this nice? Don't you think- don't- hey, Amir, I'm useful, right? Yes, sir. I solve practical problems. Can I upgrade the dispenser? Hold on. Oh, I need scrap to upgrade the dispenser. Hold on. Oh, wait, Amir hey, just shot out a bunch of stuff. We got dis dispensed stuff. This is broken. I got one log, one flint, and two scrap. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, I got it to level two. Okay, level two dispenser. So yeah, with my dispenser at level 3, not only did it provide sanity and health regeneration, but it would also regularly spit out useful supplies. It was already pretty good, but I wasn't done taking W's just yet, because the catalog of dispensable items wasn't just limited to the basics. See, although it was much less frequent, it was also capable of shooting out much more advanced stuff. <gasps> it shot out gears at level 3? Oh my goodness. Wait, we won. Dude, the dis- oh my, this character is broken! Every 70, all the 70 days are worth- <laughs> All 74 days of suffering have been vindicated by this! By this beautiful, beautiful creation! This truly was a glorious, shining ray of hope. With this, it quite literally did not even matter if there wasn't a single clockwork enemy left on the entire map! it was still impossible for me to build my sentry. And the process was so simple. Keep the dispenser fueled up with scrap and just chill out till it dispenses some more gears. But of course, this terrible, terrible world wasn't going to let it be that easy. Yeah, the pigs don't seem to care. Well, actually, no, they're all dead, so they can't care, but you know. Oh, it's refertilizing because the frickin' weather is like, you know, we're, we're not living in hell anymore. You know? Mm -hmm. What in Sam Hill was that? Hey, Mir? Huh? Do you hear that roaring? No. Okay. Well, my character just heard it twice and said, What in Sam Hill was that? Oh, come on. So, yeah, you know, be careful. Bro, well, this place is a freaking, like, a graveyard. Everything is dead. Yo, Amir. Yeah. Yo, I don't know what, but something killed everything up here. Like, I, like there was a whole gang war thing where the pigs all died to the frogs. But something killed all the frogs too, bro. I got, like, 20 frog legs. So, something's amiss, bro. Something's going on. Oh, that sound. Deer clops? I hear him. Oh, is he coming? He's here. Oh, that was... Wait, wait, wait. Who is that? That is not deer clops. Yeah. The game decided it was time to send this 6,000 health monster of a boss our way. And he would very quickly prove himself to be a walking disaster. Alright, Amir. Uh, where are you? Okay. I'm gonna put it over here and light it on fire, okay?
200. 200, not bad. Oh, he's on fire. And he's on fire? Oh, he's freaking out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he does not like it at all. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Well, you know. Just as the world had raised me up, it so very quickly tore me down. Perhaps this was its intention all along, to give me a spark of hope, only to immediately smother it. See, it might not be that easy to tell, but only two of the three red gems dropped when the dispenser was destroyed, and we didn't have any extras. I couldn't build it again, which meant... <laughs> No, no gears. No gears. No gears! <laughs> yeah, well, one, one second there. I'm trying to salvage this situation. So... What next? Did we give up? Did we finally succumb to the will of the war? Of course not. At least we got some of the resources back from our broken stuff. Unlike last time. Like... We, we managed to recover from this, okay? Bouncing back from some doofus wandering into our house and destroying the living room would be a pathetic feat in comparison. And it wouldn't take very long for us to do just that. Oh, Ethan, I got you a red gem. And I found out how we can get even more. These rocks in the cave drop gems randomly. Wow, Amir, thank you. This run might be saved, Amir. Just with that. I think that. so. I'm breaking every rock now. After after the freaking catastrophe that was yesterday. We yeah, we didn't even deal with recover. that guy. He's going to come back. And with that, he was back to waiting for gears. Oh, this is, I died here? That's funny. Oh, this is where I froze to death. Ah, the sweet, sweet memories. <laughs> this girl is giving her introduction in this podcast. And the host is like this super jacked guy. He's like, so what do you do? And she's like, well, I play League of Legends. And yeah, that's pretty much all I do. And he's like, so you're a gaming loser. Yeah, pretty much. Meanwhile, his entire about section, all his like icons are all Dragon Ball and shit. That's way better than- that's several orders of magnitude better than League of Legends, bro. Uh, there are five bunny men chasing me. That's really cool. <gasps> yes! It did spit out two gears at once? Okay. <laughs> hey, Amir. Yeah. Sentry going up. I'd finally done it. I'd built the sentry gun. And it seemed that we both shared this insatiable bloodlust, a visceral hatred of this world, because it would take no time at all for me to see it in action. Look at this guy. Oh yeah, he Whoa. was hiding in our bush for like a week Wait. straight. Oh, you're... yeah, he got so fat, he dropped four drumsticks. And your turret killed him, by the way. Did it? I think so, I hit him like 40 and oh, then he yeah. just got hit by oh, something yeah. else. Oh yeah, it has 98 rounds remaining now. However, that was while it was at level 1, and all it did was gun down a turkey, far from a measure of its true capabilities. So I upgraded it to level 3, filled it up with ammo, and decided to give it a much more comprehensive test. Oh, Ethan, he's back. Is he? Oh, wow. Well, Actually, you... I think he never left. Well, Amir, you, you know what to do. I've got something coming straight for him. Don't place it too close. Because when he does that, it breaks everything. Oh my. No, 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 no. No, I... no look at me, buddy. Look at me, buddy. Look at me. <laughs> Hold on, I need, a, I need a rescue ranger this thing. Hold on. <laughs> oh, he's going to the base, man. 
Jesus, that guy did a number on this freaking thing. I need I need a new wrench and I need to make a ton of scrap. Hold on. Unfortunately, it did not turn out to be the ultimate killing machine. But then again, it would be pretty overpowered if it could just solo one of the most powerful enemies in the game with very little assistance. At the same time, however, considering that it was able to put a pretty significant dent in one of the most powerful enemies in the game with very little assistance, it would almost certainly be able to clean house against any foe that didn't have a four-digit HP bar or the capability to destroy it in three hits. But regardless, that still left a hostile and relatively healthy Berger wandering around our base. Not exactly a desirable state of affairs. However, Amir had devised quite an effective method of ridding ourselves of our little problem. Tree guards, incredibly powerful enemies that have a chance to spawn when chopping down trees and continue to defend nearby trees from that point on. A couple had come out of the woodwork while Amir was collecting resources earlier, and considering the Berger quite literally mows down any trees in his path, it wasn't exactly difficult to get them aggroed on each other. Oh, I hear I hear the battle on going on. Yo, they're kicking his ass! Oh, he's almost dead. Well, and KS him, KS him. I got him with my fist. Excellent work. Do they care about you or what they do? They don't give a fuck. Oh, they don't care. Yeah, because, yeah, we didn't do anything. We're the good yeah. guys here. For once. I, um, I will kill them later. Actually, no, we'll use them. Yeah, you know, killing them later and using them? Not mutually exclusive, but as he said, that's for later. Anyways, now that the base was secure, I decided to set my sights on the final building the teleporter. And after checking over the recipe, I realized that it was actually going to be the easiest to build of the three. In fact, we actually already had all the necessary materials. Building a teleporter entrance and exit would require a total of 30 scrap and 20 nightmare fuel. Scrap was simple enough, just a combination of sticks and flint, but nightmare fuel is much harder to come by. Except for the fact that one of the primary methods of farming nightmare fuel is killing shadow creatures. And what has Amir been doing for almost this entire run? Killing my insane hallucinations! Thus, we so happen to have 30 nightmare fuel just laying around. Yeah, where's the... Alright. Teleporter going up! But of course, that wasn't all. For you cannot have light without shadow, hope without despair, good without evil, or teleporter entrance without teleporter exit. Hey, Mary, get back here. Uh, I have business. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just build, make it by myself. There's a funny statue that I have to interact with. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Alright. Teleporter going up! Pog. And thus, the job was finished. I'd done what I'd set out to do, and had built all my buildings. And with that, I was finally able to do something that was beyond my grasp for almost the entirety of this run so far. I was able to have some fun. <laughs> hey, Mirror. Yeah. I just went through the teleporter like three times and I, a, a piece of bread shot out of me. Oh my god, it's Krampus. Die, you son of a bitch. Okay, I guess it's not funny. Oh, it's the penguins. I'm gonna lead him into my sentry gun. <laughs> Woo wee! Would you look at that? I'm here. Yo. Eat this. What the fuck? 
Yeah, I don't know I if you, I don't know if you heard me because you were too busy listening to your stupid podcast. But I said Sorry. that that, that it's actually infinite. That appeared just appeared out of me after I took the teleporter. <laughs> yeah, bro. Keep eating the bread, bro. There's definitely nothing wrong with it. Is that all you've been doing? Nothing but teleporting bread. I've done for nothing three but days? teleport bread for three <laughs> days. <laughs> All right, we're not gonna lie, bro. My will to do this run has plump dropped through the floor. Like I did, I did yeah. it. I did everything that I needed to do. I'm actually. That's all I wanted to see, to be honest. <laughs> what is that scripted ass shit? I've returned. I'm glad to have the engineer by my side. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Engineer is credit to team. <laughs> so how you doing? I am a dedicated server. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, and well, <laughs> I solve practical problems. <laughs> I just, I'm just traumatized. You see these three statues? <laughs> Each one was a separate trauma trip. <laughs> and there was one and there's one final statue and it's this one right here. Dang, the winter music kinda goes ham. Huh? The winter oh. music the winter music kinda goes ham. Hey, Mayor. Yeah. I have two warming stones and you don't. I know. <laughs> hey, Mayor. Take this. Thank you. You saved me. Now let me give these guys some meat. Actually, hold on, no. Here's what's gonna happen. Oh wait, never mind. I think something's about to happen. <laughs> oh, get the dogs. Yep. All right, Amir, let's roll. Oh, the big guy! The big guy thinks he can do something! Uh-oh. Dude, this thing is nasty. Can you make multiple centuries? I, I think so, if I get more years. We need two of them to infinitely trade aggro <laughs> on a boss. <laughs> oh, Amir, guess what just shot out of the dispenser <laughs> as you said that? A gear! Ardemir, I got a, I got some friends coming over to party. If I, if you don't mind. What do you want to do? I got some friends coming over to party. If you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, is there two of them? <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, they're really slow, aren't they? Yes. I'm also freezing to death. <laughs> if you don't mind, <laughs> could you could you escort them to the premises? <laughs> yeah, they're just about here.
beautiful. Make making bacon. <laughs> Says the quotes too. Oh, by the way, it turns out me and Amir are ignorant morons. Remember these marble structures I mentioned around an hour ago and how we just nonchalantly walk past them? Yeah, we could have... You know what, Amir's the one who figured this out. I'll let him explain. That has a lot of stuff in it. Ethan, I found out how you're supposed to get gears. Yeah, how are you supposed to get gears? There are marble structures of every clockwork mob. Yeah. You have to find, you know, the random suspicious marble that's like around the map. And when you pick it up, you start carrying it slow as fuck. Yeah. You have to take one of those to each corresponding statue and it'll spring to life, apparently. And if you go there at a new moon, it'll spring their shadow form to life. In either case, when you kill them, they drop stuff. I don't know. And we're so very complicated. Okay, and we and we and we're, we just supposed and we to... just get it from a dispenser. We're good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah, with all the marble structures we'd found in our travels, we'd scoured every crack and crevice of an entire continent. You know, I could have built the sentry gun seasons ago. Oh well. Um... Alright, yeah, show's over.